Welcome to tutorial two, a random set of points. Um, as I said in class, one of the things to learn about Grasshopper is to start to try to figure out uh, what things are easy and what things are hard. And as it turns out, generating a random set of points is kind of hard, but picking a random set of points is, is actually pretty easy. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a field or a, a grid of points. And I'm going to do that with the series and with um, the, uh, the create a point from x, y, and z coordinates. So the first thing I want is I want my, let's say, uh, number of x points. I'll hook that up to a slider, like integers will say somewhere, you know, between 1 and 25. And we're going to start at 0, and we're going to count up until my number of points. We also want to set the step size, which will determine the size in uh, the, the the distance between each point. So let's do that. X step size. And let's do the same thing for Y. We'll just copy that all down. my name's consistent. Again, I'm, I'm doubling up these parameters to make it easier to package everything into a cluster later. Okay, so the output of this is a series of numbers which we'll use for y, and for this is a series of numbers we'll use for x. We feed them into our point component. You can see that we get this line, of course, because we need to set the data matching to cross-reference. Okay. There we go. You know what? Let's keep the grid size consistent. Let's have one step size. For both X and Y, so that we always get a square grid. There we go. Okay. So essentially, this is just a list of points. Um, and what we need to do is we need to select a certain number of points from that list. Um, and we can do that uh, with uh, one of the list components, which is split list. So we feed our list of points in. And then we need another parameter for our uh, number of output points. attach a or one of our sliders for that. Okay, so when I turn off preview, all the places that I need to turn off preview, we can select either the first, this will split a list into two based on our number of points. So we can take either the top half or the bottom half. Now you can see when we change this slider, let me just update this so that we have a... Uh, um, it's essentially just giving me either the... This is the you know bottom 55, or if I were to s switch it like this, it would give me the remaining at the top. So the, the question is, how do we make this randomized? And in uh, sets, there's a component called jitter, which will randomly reshuffle a list. And that takes as its input a list, a shuffle strength, and let's just leave that set at the default of one for complete shuffling, and a seed. 
that it needs that seed number. That seed number will determine the sort of basis for its uh, random function. So let's uh, let's make that a slider as well, so we can get a different set of random points if we want. So the trick is that we want to take our list of points and shuffle it around and then take and then split the list into two and of course we need to turn off the preview to jitter to see what's happening but what's happening is the list of points is going into the jitter and then the jitter is splitting it into two lists based on our slider so now we have if I scale this back 16 randomized points from our in initial field of 9 by 9 is 81 you can see if I make this bigger, we're making our initial field of points bigger. And if I change this slider, the number of points, this is the number of points it's selecting from that field. Again, this is what the field looks like. And then if I slide the seed number here, it selects a different subset of those points. So these are our out points. Copy that again. Turn the preview off. Um, and this here would be nice if we had put a uh, parameter to call this in points. I'm going to turn the preview off. We can just select that, arrange, make it a cluster, and there is our cluster that takes a uh, set of input points, a seed, a number of input points, and produces a randomized field.